Hi, everyone. <laughs> the first thing I want to assure everyone is that uh, the services that we're talking about here today do service men as well. <laughs> uh, and I apologize for not having any men here on our panel. Um, I first met April back in uh, the, this past year at a conference uh, in St. Louis. And she was telling about 500 microfunders in the audience about her business. And she spoke with such passion. And as we all know, small businesses and entrepreneurs, small business owners, must have passion first and foremost to be successful. But one thing they don't have is all the answers. And the two organizations that are here with us today help small business owners and entrepreneurs with the, getting the answers they need when they don't know where to turn to. So I'm going to start with April uh, and ask her how she heard about the Edge Connection. Okay. I actually found out about the Edge Connection when I was going through a really hard time dealing with a banker. And my legal bills were mounting as I decided to close the old business and open up a new business when they merged the two brands, Maggie Moose and Marble Slab. And the Edge Connection was right what I needed at the right time. There was a lawyer on staff named Ms. Carlotta, and she's just been amazing. She helped me close out the old business, get incorporated, uh, help me with my contract for my new location with the landlord. Everything I needed, the Edge Connection helped me with as far as my legal Great. advice. And, and Terry, uh, why don't you tell us briefly what services the organization specializes in when it comes to business mentoring? Well, we're a full service entrepreneurial development center. So though we target low to moderate income women and minorities, we welcome everyone. And because we are a full service organization, we will help people explore the idea of entrepreneurship, uh, help them create a comprehensive business plan, uh, provide business coaching and consultative services, uh, whether it be legal services, marketing, business development, what will you. Um, we also uh, help them prepare for or get access to capital uh, when you're ready to grow and uh, develop your business. So we do offer a full gamut of services, and uh, we also uniquely offer the only nonprofit commercial kitchen in Atlanta, mm -hmm. which is dedicated to promoting food service entrepreneurs. Uh, it's an incubator and a marketplace. So we, uh, we provide any services that any entrepreneur needs, and if we don't provide the service directly, we have collaborative partners that we'll refer them to. Okay, great. Well, also with us here today is Renee Kite from ARC Temporary Staffing. And Renee um, has run this business. She established it uh, over 10 years ago. Uh, and she has grown it from a small boutique temp agency to a mid-sized supplier to major corporations, including Coca-Cola and the Federal Reserve Bank. So I wanted to turn to Renee and ask her how the Georgia Minority Supplier Development Council helped her with her business. Hello. The Georgia, uh, the Georgia Minority Supply and Development Council, GMSDC, yes. actually. <laughs> they certified me as a minority business owner. When I first went to them, I was a very small company. They held my hand and introduced me in matchmake sessions with large, major corporations. I, Georgia Minority Supply and Development Council introduced me to Coca-Cola. I, they constantly hold networking sessions. They constantly hold classes. And the first time the lady from Coca-Cola spoke back to me, I went, ah! And they coached me into how to get the contract, how to work with corporate, how to position myself to be a vendor for corporate. Because when you first walk in, you're just a, a small fish. And then when you land the Coca-Cola contract and you are, are on their vendor list, Georgia Minority Supply, also coaches you how to be with other vendors, how to sell yourself to corporate America. And that's a whole different thing from when I, when I first walked in the door, because I was, I thought I knew everything until I met corporate America, and then I went, wow. <laughs> so, yes, and I'm still working with Georgia, with, with them every day. I call Stacy all the time. If I'm interested in corporate America, she'll set up the meeting with that person. That's great. So Stacy, do you, uh, does the service uh, provide one-to-one -one mentoring? Is that the idea? Let me tell you, 
GMSDC, for those of you may, that may not be familiar, is the state's leading organization for supplier diversity and minority business development. And what we do is we offer a certification on behalf of our corporate members. We also educate, as Renee mentioned, we provide developmental programs, and then provide those vital connections to help you do business and grow your business. And specifically in relation to mentoring and education, GMSDC is the only organization in the state that in partnership with Georgia Tech and the Georgia Department of Economic Development, we have the Mentor-Protege Connection Program. And it's a program that allows you uh, to be in a mentoring program for one year with a major corporation. You identify three areas that you want to focus on in growing your business. And as a result, the corporate partner who's mentoring you works very closely with you in helping you be successful as it relates to those three objectives. Stacey, is there certain criteria to, to actually work Absolutely. with your organization? GMSDC focuses on ethnic minorities, African American, Asian, uh, Latino, uh, Native American. However, our mentoring program is for all small businesses throughout the state. Okay. So there's an opportunity for small businesses to be mentored, uh, for them to grow as part of the Mentor Protege Connection. Thank you. Terry, what about your organization? Is there criteria to work with your organization? We will turn no one away. We were actually developed to fill a gap uh, in, in this particular area. Uh, it, which is why we are dedicated to providing services to low to moderate income minorities and women. Now, if we believe you are not a, a good match for the Edge Connection, because we're dedicated to the development of micro entrepreneurs. So if you're at a point in developing your business where we perhaps feel you'd be better served, say, by the SBDC or another organization, then we will refer you to our collaborative partners. Right. But we will turn no one away. And I want to turn to Renee and to April and ask, you know, what advice do you give to all of these, these folks on how to get started? So we'll start with you, April. What would you say is the one thing they should do now if they feel that they don't have the answers? Research. Really know what, what the business you're trying to start. Know your competitors. Know everything about your business. Do a lot of reading. And also know your weaknesses and strengths. I knew I needed help with legal aspects and contracting. And so you gotta know exactly where you're focusing on where you're going. Write a good business plan and seek out and get that help that you need. And Renee? Get certified with GMSDC. Get certified, okay. Because the answers are already there for you. They give the classes for your, they, give, they even give a class on elevated speech. Oh, that's They give a class on your uh, capability statement. They give a class on getting your financials ready. For even for banks, so they, they the education is there for you. You have to go out and, but getting certified has completely changed the model of my company. Okay. Well, I want to thank you all, and uh, let's give a hand to our businesses and our uh, our guests here today. Thank you so much.